Hey everyone, so welcome back to my new video and I know you probably see something majorly different, you know, in, hold up a second, okay, in this region over here. So, yes, I officially did the big chop, but yes, I officially did the big chop and last night uh, on St. Patrick's Day, Saturday night, if you don't know, I officially uh, chopped all my hair off, well actually, I chopped off the front and I had help with, you know, um, doing the back and right now I have like the most adorable fro going on. Yeah. Yes, I totally, you know, like have a couple of pieces, you know, going on that still need a little bit of, you know, retouching and a little trimming, but I honestly love it so much as it is right now, so I totally don't mind. Um, yes, so what else can I say about uh, the big chop? Um, I've always been thinking and wondering, I keep looking at my viewfinder, um, I've always been thinking and wondering about doing this, you know, getting rid of my relax and so I'm like, you know what, last night I finally just got kind of tired of thinking about it and I just took my scissors and just went chink 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 and my mother did the chink 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 and the rest of the back for me. So yes, this is it. Um, I don't really have uh, much product in my hair right now, I do have a bit of my Dark and Lovely Curl Refresher Spray that's, you know, pretty much like giving me a nice good shine right now, which is kind of like that. And I do see, of course, my curl definition, but it is like so much in a fro is that you literally have to look close to see it until I put, um, you know, water and more product in it. But it's Sunday. I'm chilling. I didn't really want to walk around my house with wet hair. And I pretty much honestly love how it looks like just like this in itself, like, you know, nice and defined and um like you know a cute thing going on it looks very like right here i do have a long chunk piece of hair like i like how it kind of looks like this and when you go to the back it's like bam i literally feel like so 90s or 80s right now i actually i look like my mom when she was young she had her hair cut like this um, so yes, yeah, so let's get into the story. And my camera battery is dying, so honestly, I really hope I could get this out before it just like conks out on me. Um, what can I say? So, about a year and a half ago, I officially uh, put in my relaxer in my hair because my hair was just getting too crazy, and I wasn't, I didn't really like dealing with my hair being like this. So I just got tired of it. I finally went. Um, uh last year maybe like three months into the year i told myself you know what i'm going back to my natural roots i don't want my relaxed hair anymore i want to go back curly i miss my hair and i didn't really like how my hair was looking after i did that relaxer because it was like really straight and it kind of got on my nerves a lot so i was like you know what okay no i'm so done with this um so yes i finally just started stocking up and using so much uh curling products from dark and lovely from Shea Moisture, from Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils, uh, uh, Dr. Miracle, and lots of other uh, products that I begin to find over the last year and a half yeah. from um, using products. So now it's honestly come to this. So yesterday I finally decided, like, you know what, I'm going to style my hair and see how it comes out because I didn't really know, like, you know, why... Um, my hair was like just looking the way it was and I just honestly got so 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 tired of it so I'm like you know I'm sick of this uh two uh what's the word um two different textured kind of hair because my ends were really straight and my roots were like kind of like this like you know really curled and defined and like really together so I didn't really like how that was looking. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to cut off all my ends. And honestly, like, it scared the behova out of me. The, I can't even say the behova, the shinova, the, the crazy, the oh my god, out of me. It literally did. Because I'm looking at the hair. I'm looking in the mirror, seeing my hair literally drop off my head. And I'm just like, oh my god. I'm like literally thinking to myself, like, Lord, I'm not going to be able to wear a hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to wear a ponytail anymore, but of course my hair, of course, is gonna grow back, and of course it's gonna grow back so much healthier. So that's what I'm going to remember to kind of keep in mind, and um, like 
after a while, I am going to be able to put a put back a ponytail in my hair, you know, like a nice cute ponytail like I was rocking a couple of, like, last year. So, yes. Um, but for now, this is honestly what it is. And I love it so much. Like, I literally feel free. I feel like nothing is on me right now. Like, nobody can really touch me. And, like, this fro kind of happened overnight because my hair was wet before I went to bed. And I put a little bit of oils in it, but it did feel a little stiff. So, of course, I have to, you know, get used to um, just having it like this now and, like, you know, conditioning it more and putting more product in it. And, um, yes. So, I did put some Dark and Lovely Curl Refresh Hair Twice as Nice uh, spray in my hair this morning because my curls was feeling a bit, um, you know, crunchy and dry. And I really love how it makes my curls, like, you know, nice and shiny and moisturized. So, I was using that. And, um... Yes, so it's pretty much going to be a crazy year. Like, I, what can I say how this year started? I, um, started my YouTube channel. This is, like, what, maybe my 20th video after this whole entire month or maybe month and a half of uploading videos. And now you're seeing my Big Chop story. <sighs> Whew, I am overwhelmed. Wow. Um, so, what else can I say? Honestly, I'm also excited about to see how my hair kind of, you know, grows back on its own after I, you know, style it more and it starts, you know, growing out more. So I can't wait to see how that really turns out. But yes, um, this is just what it is now. And I, of course, am going to take a lot more care of my hair and I'm not going to put a relaxer in it never again because I really do want to see how my hair tends to snap back after, you know, the big chop and everything and I am telling you I am telling you I am telling you I was watching video after video after video of you know women girls uh, children getting their big chop for their hair and I'm just like oh my god like I don't know how you could just not have your hair and my cousin she was like persuading me so much like Jacqueline do the big chop like get rid of those ends and you know what last night I finally did it and I called her on FaceTime on um I'm sorry Facebook you know the FaceTime chat and I showed her, like, oh my god, I chopped it off. And honestly, I, I don't know what to say. It's just like, this is just my beautiful fro right now. And I literally feel invincible. Like, it's just, what can you tell me? Like, oh my god. Like, I've heard quotes after quotes of, like, you know, women doing the big chop and loving how their hair grows back. It grows back so much better. And honestly, I am fully dedicated into showing my process of growing my hair back and having it be... 20 50 times more better than it was before sans relaxer so no more relaxers for me ever again i am fully in and this is my hair now so do tell me about your big chop story down below in the comments or on my instagram or you can tweet it to me because i would love to hear from you like tell me how you transitioned and then tell me how you cut off your hair and what really made you finally decide to do it because in my eyes, it took me a while to get to the stage where I'm just like, you know what? I'm do I'm so through with this. And last night was like the final, final straw for me. Because I kept thinking about it so much. Like, you know what? I'm going to chop it off. Chop some off. Like, I will literally chop off like little strands around my hair and like little sections. Like, first I started in the back. So, like for this last month, like the back of my hair, like near my nape, like down here, was already chopped off. So finally, I just, you know, parted up my hair and I just went chop, 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 chop. And I was like basically Edward Scissorhand in my room, like, you know, chopping up my hair. So, yes. But do tell me your story down below. I know it's amazing. And what finally made you not want to put relaxers in your hair anymore? Because you know what? It's a beautiful journey to want to go through and see how everything turns out for yourself and your hair. And the confidence it will bring you. Because right now... I like half of me is like bubbling with joy because I finally cut it and the other half of me is like girl you cut your hair did you really do that <laughs> but yes yeah, so this is what it is so of course comment that down below and tell me what you think and your story so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on twitter follow me on pinterest and instagram i would love to hear from you oh and if you have linkedin follow me on there too if you want to because i already have like a ton of people i follow on there from you know the business industry so i'm like hey it's a social media be cool and follow me 
But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.